All right, guys, this is our third video in our prime and composite series. So let's start off by asking, what is a prime number? Well, a prime number is a whole number that has exactly two factors, one and the number itself. So the number two. The only way for me to make a number two is by multiplying one times two. The factors of two are one and itself, two. So then what's a composite number? Well, composite numbers are the opposite. Composite numbers can be a number that can be broken down into two or more factors. So our example, 16. 16, the factors of 16 are 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. So therefore, there's more than one factor of 16. So 16 is composite. So it makes a number not prime if it has more factors than just one in itself. So here we have the number 12. We're factoring it out. So to make a 12, I can do 6 times 2. 2 is prime, so we'll leave it alone. 6 can be made as 3 times 2. 3 is prime, 2 is prime. So the factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. So some other composite numbers between 1 and 30. We've talked about those in previous videos, but... Um, the number 4, the number 6, 8, 9, 10, etc. So what about 1? Well, sorry, 1. 1, you're neither prime nor composite. Remember, the only way, uh, the definition of prime number is it has two factors, 1 in itself. 1 only has one factor, 1. So the number one is called is considered neither prime nor composite. That will be a test question. Keep that in mind. Is one prime or composite? It's neither. Trick question. So factoring. So sometimes a number can be factored into different combinations. What we're doing when we're factoring is we're breaking it down into smaller numbers that can be multiplied together to get the original number. So our example here is eight. So to make an 8, I multiply 4 times 2. 2 is prime, so we leave it alone. To get 4, I multiply 2 times 2. So my factors of 8 are 2, 2, and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So prime factorization. Prime factorization is when we're breaking a number down into its prime numbers. We do that using factor trees. So this, is, this makes it look like it's a tree. I'll draw those lines there. So the prime factors of 24 are 2, 2, 2, and 3. And why do we stop at the prime numbers? Because you can't factor a prime number any further. So no matter how you break up a number, the prime factors will always be the same. So let's take a look at over here. Here we've got the number 56. Someone thought to take 56 and divide it into 2. So 56 times, or 56 divided by 2 is 28. So 2 times 28 equals 56. 2 is prime, so leave it alone. To make a 28, I can do 14 times 2. 2 is prime, leave it alone. To make 14, I can multiply 7 times 2. 7 is prime, 2 is prime. So the prime factorization of 56 is 2, 2, 2, and 7. Now here's how I would actually factor it. When I see 56, I think 8 times 7. 7 is prime, leave it alone. To make an 8, 4 times 2. 2's prime, leave it alone. To make a 4, I do 2 times 2. So my prime factors of 56 are 2, 2, 2, and 7. They're the same. No matter how you decide to break it up, your prime factors will always be the same. So let's take a look at a little guided practice here. So Vicky saw 18 crabs on the beach, which shows the prime factorization of 18. Well, 6 is not prime. 18 is not prime. So that leaves two options for us. That leaves 2 times 3 times 3, and 3 times 3 times 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 equals 27. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. So our answer is A. Jeffrey saw 66 crabs. 
which shows the prime factorization of 66? Well, 6 is not prime. 22 is not prime. 33 is not prime. So the only one that's prime is C. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 11. Sorry about that, guys. My computer kind of crashed out on me a little bit. So as I was saying, 6, 22, 33 are all composite. And if we want to check this last one, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 11 is 66, and that is true. And all of those numbers are prime. So here we have a factor tree. 100 is broken into 2 and 50. 2 is prime, so we'll leave it. 50 is 5 times 10. 5 is prime. 10 is 2 and 5. So which statement is true? Number two is composite. Composite, no. Two is prime. Only factors of 100 are two and 50? Well, no, we can go a lot more than that. Two and five are prime, that's true. 10 is prime. Well, it's not prime because we broke it into two times five. So the only one that makes sense is C. Oh, that's it. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to you, including my little mishap there. Um, if you guys have any questions, please write up on your whisk and uh, bring it to class.